Hey Hello Angels, welcome back to the 2017-2018 school year. We're back in episode one of the vlog where we will meet the youth ministers, Jen and Colin. We'll take a look at this summer's best movies and we'll hear from you, the students. Remember, this vlog is made by the students for the students. Go Angels! <laughs> taking confirmation classes? Not yet, but I heard it's really fun. Yeah, it's with Jen and Colin. Have you met them? Yeah, they did the junior high retreat. Let's show them to everybody else at OQA. Lego. Hi, I'm Jen Lockbach, and I'm the assistant youth minister here at OQA. I've been at OQA my entire life. I've been involved in youth ministry for about nine years, yeah. and I've been working here for a little over a year now. I was born in Newport Beach, uh, lived here my entire life, just in East Bluff, so right down the street, um, and kind of haven't left since. So. Yeah. Um, and a fun fact about myself, I had six wisdom teeth. Um, which was awful. Um, had to get the surgery twice, but I'm like super wise, so it's amazing. And but now they're gone, so yeah, I'm a little bit lighter. <laughs> Hello, uh, my name is Colin, Colin Longmore. Uh, I'm the youth minister here at Our Lady Queen of Angels. Uh, this is my second year here. I just had my second year anniversary at OLQA, so I'm very excited. I was born in. I think I was born specifically in Garden Grove, and then I grew up in Tustin, which is just like maybe 15 minutes from here. Uh, yeah, grew up there, went to school there, Tustin, Irvine, that whole area. Yes, and a fun fact about me, this tooth right here is fake, because I was trying to do a backflip and I basically landed on my face. And then this like tooth just got pulverized. And um, yeah, so there's a there's a couple pictures out there of me just like with like this missing thing right here. But they did a good job because you can't really tell that it's fake. I attended Modern Day High School for all four years. My favorite thing would probably be some of the classes were actually really fun. Um, I got to take forensics my senior year, which was a really interesting different class, and, like ceramics and Christian lifestyles, and just the variety that they offered was really fun. I went to Tustin High School, go Tillers. Uh, what I liked about it was they really serious about the football team and we had a pretty cool football team Like I was really proud of it Not as good as modern day, but yeah <laughs> <laughs> I know I know personally I, I love youth ministry because it It's a place where you're able to um, See the youth find their identity and their find, find their true identity through through Christ, right? Because normally when you go out in school, when you're dealing with friends, um, just kind of dealing with everything that's hitting you, you're not really sure who you are. Maybe you'll change your, your clothing, you change your hairstyle, you'll, you know, try to figure out who you are. But when you're in youth ministry, you're really able to um, see kids really be themselves, right? Um, whether that's weird or wacky or whatever it is, but um, I think it's one of the, the most authentic places you can really grow and, and become yourself. So I know that's what I love. Thing. Whenever you're like at a Monday night or a Wednesday night and a kid is just like doing the weirdest dance or something and you're like, that's so great, you're just being yourself. My favorite part. Yeah, I think um, I like seeing that development as well. Um, I like seeing people who like start in the program in confirmation or like being forced to come to youth ministry nights, not wanting to be there but then like slowly getting more involved and then joining the leadership team and just seeing that kind of process and seeing them grow as a person um, and kind of mature and more into that leadership role and yeah, just watching their whole process and seeing how, seeing how they grow. I started the confirmation process when I was in high school and was just kind of one of those kids where my mom was driving me to confirmation every day. Um, but then on my year two retreat, uh, my small group leader, who was a visions leader, which is our uh, leadership team, 
She and I got really close because I wasn't friends, or I didn't have many friends on the retreat. Um, and she was younger than all of us. So we got really close because we were both like really awkward and weird. Um, and then after the retreat, she's like, you should come to youth ministry uh, and join the Visions Leadership Team. And I was like, okay, and then I did, and I've been here ever since. And now I work here. <laughs> uh, back when I was in uh, doing youth ministry, I, I did a confirmation program, and then I knew there was a youth nights. But um, I mean, I was like, what, 15, 14 or whatever. And the only thing that interest 15-year-old Colin was girls. <laughs> really, that's the reason why I joined at 15, because I knew there was going to be people there I could talk to, and um, and then that's kind of how God hooked me in, and then afterwards I basically stayed for the faith, because then I fell in love with, with the Catholic faith, and um, that's just something that then grew from there. So, God knew how to hook me in at 15 years old, and then He just, you know, uh, just set that fire on the faith afterwards, and it kind of kept me there. It's 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9 through 10. And it's just basically saying that whenever we're weak, God fills us with strength. So it ends like, for whenever I'm weak, then I'm strong. Um, and I just love that to always like motivate me that no matter what's going on, whenever I'm down, um, that God is there to fill me with that strength and bring me back up. Yeah, it might have to be uh, Matthew 5, 44. Um, they're saying, uh, love your enemies and pray for those that persecute you uh, because God makes the sun rise on the good and the bad and the rain fall on the just and the unjust. I just love that because it's like really unifying message for a lot of different people. Uh, high school meets Monday nights uh, every night here at, from 7 to 8.30. Yeah, and then we have um, middle school on Wednesdays from 6 to 7.30. Um, also here in the youth room and in the hall on Annex. And I don't know, those nights have been great. We just started them this summer with kind of like summer activities. Um, in the past month or so, we've been doing kind of our normal like, curriculum with that. And it's just been really cool to see like the middle schoolers in their own environment because it used to be joined with the high schoolers and we weren't getting as many and they were, I mean, they were like crazy, but like kind of still awkward. But now that they have their own space, it's like super fun to see everyone just get really involved in, in the games, the teachings, and even the, the prayer activities are getting really, really good at that too. Yeah, I kind of like middle school nights better than high school, but yeah. okay. it's not the yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Riley. I'm Marco. And today, we're going to take a look at the summer's best movies. Let's take a look. Cars 3 is a movie for all ages about famous car, Lightning McQueen, trying to make a comeback after getting old and losing to races from younger cars and new models. Despicable Me 3 is the next movie. Despicable Me 3 is a great movie for everyone with comedy for all ages about Guru and Minions doing good and bad to gain power. The Lego Ninjago movie is a great movie with action and comedy combined with animation. This action-packed movie is about Lloyd and his ninja friends stopping evil Lord Garmadon. Rated G. The Emoji movie has great comedy and use of modern day culture. The Emoji movie concerns how emojis need to play their role. I would use a fire emoji to describe this movie. Sing is a movie of comedy and talent. This rated G movie is about how saving Mr. Buster Moon's auditorium with a singing competition. This movie just makes me want to sing. Moana is a Disney animated film about characters Moana and Maui who try to restore the heart that gives life during an old island era. Despicable Me 3. Despicable Me 3. Well, I chose Despicable Me 3 because um, 
Well, there's three Despicable Me's and I just think it's the most interesting about all of the other. <laughs> I just like it because there are more villains. Why do you like it? I like Despicable Me 3 because um, it's the newest one. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 the best. <laughs> My favorite movie is Sing. I just thought it was a good movie. For me, it was hilarious and it was funny. Wow, those movies are fun. You know what else is fun? Starting a new school year. Now let's see what you guys are excited for this school year. What's your favorite thing about kindergarten? Um, I like going home. That's <laughs> not about kindergarten. I like the classroom. I like my friend Chloe. Are you excited to be here at OQA? Yes. Uh, playing? Yeah. Um, I'm Who's your teacher this year? Miss Angle. Miss Watson. Miss Angle. Miss Don. Mrs. Fox. Miss Sharpie. Mr. Wynn. Mrs. Ruder. Miss Seisberg. Dr. Devon. Miss May. Mr. L. Miss May. Miss May. Are you a new student at OQA or how many years have you been here for? You've been here, here for one year. year. Two. Two years. Two years. Three. Two. I've been here for five, um, five years. Five years. I've been here for three years. I'm not new. I've been here ever since kindergarten. Right. Hey. Oh, yeah. Brand spanking new. Nine years. Nine years. Nine years. Nine years. <laughs> I like vlogging class because you get to like learn a lot about people and I just like vlogging in general because like there's a lot of humor in our classes and y'all get along well. So it's overall a very fun elective. I like vlog because it's fun getting to work with other people and I make new friends and we get to learn about other staff members in their life. I like vlog class because I like videos and I like editing. I like vlog class because I like filming, editing, um, interacting with younger students when we're doing interviews and just being in front of a camera. Something I want to learn in vlogging class is how to edit and use a camera. I like being in vlog class because it's really fun and I can make new friends. I like making video ideas. Thank you for watching the first episode of the vlog. We hope you enjoyed. Remember, Remember this, this vlog was made by the students for the students.